Hey guys, a very good morning and afternoon. Uh, today we are going to discuss about a topic or I would say a tool called Media Explorer. So this video is in the continuation to the last topic that we have discussed related to the DR backups. Okay, now guys, if you remember in the last video, we have seen how to recover the console or how to perform the DR restoration using the tool called CS Recovery Assistant. Okay, this is a tool that we have used to recover our console. Now guys, in order to use this particular tool, what you need is you need a, a DR backup of your SQL database. Now, if you remember, in the export phase, the DR backup that has been created, all the files of your DR backup has the extension of .dmp, like all the databases that has been backup for, like all the databases for which the backup has been created, they all have an extension of .dmp, okay? There's a dumb backup of your SQL database that we create. Now, in order to use a CS recovery assistant.exe tool, you should have all your database backups in the .dmp format, then only you can use CS recovery assistant.exe. Now that is very much fine because in the export phase, the copy that has been created, it's actually in the .dmp format only. So if my comps up goes down in any of the scenario, what I can do is I can go to these particular export phase DR backup, the location where I was taking up the DR backup, and I can actually copy the DR backup from there on the new comp serve and perform the restoration using the CS recovery assistant.txe, which I've shown you in the last video. Now, today, what we are going to discuss is we are going to discuss about the copy that has been created during this backup phase. During this backup phase, if you remember, we are actually writing down the DR backup to one of our library. Okay, if you remember the discussion from the very first video in this series of the DR backups, there I have explained you that we are going to write down the DR backup inside this particular one of your library, might be disk, tape, cloud, whatever it is. Now, in on this particular location, this backup phase location, the backup that has been written for that, there is an automatic storage policy that has been created in your infrastructure with the name comps of DR. If you really want to check that where your uh, DR backup has been written during the backup phase, you can check this particular storage policy. You can check the data path inside it and it will let you know. Now the concern is the data which is written inside my library. Okay, let's suppose in any case, if I don't have this export phase files available to me. Now I need to get my files from this particular library. Okay, DR backup files I'm specifically talking about. Now guys, the data written inside these particular libraries is not as it is like we do not write down the data on the disk as it is. We write down the data in the form of chunk. There is something called chunk. I have explained what is a chunk in uh, deduplication related videos that you can check. I will put a link uh, on the description of uh, this video as well. So the data which has been written on these particular disk library is in the form of chunks. Okay, I will show you. Now, what I'm going to do is I will see that where my old DR backup has been written <clears throat> on which particular library. Okay. And then what I will do is I will go to the path of that particular library, the mount path of that particular library and show you how the data look like over there. Okay. So let me take you to my comp sir. So in here, I just want to know the backup history for my DR backup first. Guys, generally, like when the comp sir is down, I will not be able to look at the DR backup history. Okay. So what has been recommended, Commvault recommend to schedule a report for a daily basis. So what you can do is you can go to the reports and you can go to the other reports. And in that one, there is a report called storage policy. Okay. Now go to this report, storage policy copies report. Now in this one, uh, what you can do is you can select this particular report and just let me resize the window. Over there, you can just select the storage policy comps of DR, the policy that has been used for taking up the DR backup and select associated media. Okay. Now in this way, you can actually try to generate, you can modify the time range as well. If you want to, for which you want to see the report and you can simply click on run. Okay. Now, once you click on run, it is going to show you all the jobs which are uh, uh, there are uh, written through that particular storage policies. Okay, so we'll just wait. 
Now, if you look at this particular report, the report has been generated. Okay. Now, in this one, guys, you can see that there is a DR backup with the job ID 15. Okay. It has been written uh, uh, on the server at the, some given point of time. And guys, since I selected the associated media tab when I was generating the report, you can see that it is already telling me that it's written on the exact path. Like there is a server with this name and there's a H drive and there's a folder MP2 inside that particular folder, the DR backup has been written. So this information should always be available handy. So what you can do is you can actually schedule this particular report for a daily basis. So you can go to the reports. There is a tab coming up or the schedule on the bottom and you can schedule a report for yourself on a daily basis like for every four hours every six hours every uh, 12 hours or 24 hours like once in a day where this report will be sent to you automatically and it will save the records where the dr backup has been written and what is a job id okay now let me show you that how the data is been written on that particular h drive so i'm on currently on that server comserve and there is a h drive and inside the folder mp2 this is a folder in inside which the backups has been written let me explain that one and guys if you open these any folder so you will see like chunk underscore 11 if you go to any other volume folder like you will be able to see, uh, see chunk underscore 3 chunk underscore 5 and and so on so the data written is in the form of chunks and if you open any of the chunk this is how the files look like so you you can see the chunk metadata and the s file are the one which is how the data has been written so i i will not be able to extract the real files the actual files i cannot have those particular what uh, uh, you know data has been written inside these particular s files and all because this data can only be understand by the comserv and at that time of dr comserv will be down so i cannot extract the dr backup from there so guys if that is the case and if i do not have this particular export phase dr backup available due to an nxyz reason I need to get the DR backup from this library, but how I will get that because the data has been written in the form of chunks. It's not written as a flat files. So for that guys, Commvault is actually providing a tool with the name Media Explorer. Okay. So what you need to do is you require to go to a site called cloud.comvault.com. Okay. This is a site from where you can actually download a tool called with the name Media Explorer. Okay, so if you go to the all downloads in that one, you can type in the search media explorer. Okay, you can go to this one and you can simply click on download. Once you click on download, it will ask you for which particular platform you want to download 64 or 86. You can click on download and you can download the specific version of this media explorer. Now, if I go in there, if I go to the downloads, I already have the cv tool media explorer uh, downloaded what you can do is you can right click and you can say run as an admin okay and it will extract the file so my files for the cv tools is being extracted over here so guys any server where you have that particular path available where you know that dr backup has been written which you actually find out from the report you will go to that particular server in most of the cases it will be a media agent where that particular path has been mounted on that media agent, you will download the CV tool media explorer. Now you open that double click, go to the base folder. Now inside that base folder, look for a file with the name media explorer. You can see that there is a file with the name media explorer. Okay. You can right click on that and you can say run as an admin. Now, once you click run as an admin, you will be able to see this tool coming up over here. Okay. Now, let me just minimize all the other things. So this is how your uh, Media Explorer tool will look like. It can extract the data from the tapes if the tape library has been attached to the media agent or it can extract the data from your disk library. I will show you from the disk library as of now. I will say it's a magnetic optical, uh, optical path. So I can browse and I can select the path where the DR backups are lying. So guys, again telling you, I got that information that my DR backup with a job ID 15 on this particular date was written on the H drive MP2 uh, folder of the server comserv. So what I will do is I will again go to my media explorer tool and in that one I will go to the H drive. Okay. 
and I will go to the mp2 folder you can further expand that if you really want to because there is you know that backups all the backups files are written in this folder cv magnet so I can select that as well okay now once you select that and if the uh, uh, you know the dr backup has been uh, spread across multiple uh, uh, mount path so that also you can simply click on add mount path okay now in this catalog what you can do is once you select the path you have to say that catalog these jobs okay so you will say catalog now it says catalog successful okay now over here you will be able to see the information coming up and from there there is a tab called job id okay there is a job uh, there is a, 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 a like a, a column with a name job id and if you remember from the dr backup report that we got it the job id for my dr backup was 15 so if there is any other jobs also all the jobs id will be shown over there so you can what you can do is you can uh, go to the all data just to filter it so you can see even system state so this is a job which is coming up right click and you can simply say restore now once you click on restore it is going to ask you the location where the dr backup should be extracted so i would say i want to extract restore out of place okay and say browse and i can select any path where i want to uh, get that uh, dr backup so i can say uh, d drive i can select any folder dr1 and click on ok and click on ok again now it is going to extract that data you will be able to see the status on the bottom so you can see the percentage restore succeeded now if i go there on this particular path of the d drive where the backups has been extracted so if i go to the dr1 folder you can see a folder with the name program files comval getting created content store and inside that there is a folder with the name comps of dr extract that now once you open that folder dr underscore 15 guys now you can see all the backup file all the files is in the dot dmp format so i have extracted the dr backup okay i have extracted the dr backup from the mount path of my disk library using the tool called media explorer now you can follow the previous video once you have these particular files available you can use a cs recovery assistant tool to perform the actual dr restoration on the com serve so guys that's this is how easy it is to extract the data from uh, your mount path using the media explorer tool it's a free of cost media explorer like it's not like you have to pay anything for it so you can download the media explorer tool and you can perform the restoration so guys thank you so much with this one we complete the uh, series for the dr restoration or i would say the dr backup and restoration rather thank you so much